So when Josiah was born, yeah. that was July. <clears throat> and at the same time, we were having once a month yep. uh, just preview services for Heart Change. And so what we did is we rented out uh, a room in a building in JP. Yeah. And there we had sort of a small time in the Word, a bunch of fellowship, and a bunch of music. And so it was a great opportunity for us to give people a preview of Heart Change Fellowship and the culture that we were trying to create before actually having the service itself. And so we invited friends. I mean, we had friends that came from as far away as Framingham who would come into the city to come check it out. And we just had a great time. It allowed us to meet, again, meet more people. And so we had that from April, May, June, July. And then when we were, we had just had Josiah and we were planning our next one in August because we were gonna plant, uh, have our first service at, uh, for Heart Change Fellowship in September. Um, the building that we were meeting in told us that we could not meet there any longer. And I remember Mary and, and I both thinking like, man, we're getting ready to plant this church and <laughs> we can't meet in a place that we thought we were going to be able to have it. And so, needless to say, our August preview service got canceled and that put us in this mode of, of searching for a new location. And so, we were able to land at St. Catharines, uh, Drexel Parish, uh, which is on Ruggles Street over in uh, Lower Roxbury near Northeastern. And um, yeah, our priest who was there at the time was a really, really nice guy. And we just shared him with him our vision. And he said, you know what? I, I don't know you guys well, but I feel like this is something that, that we need to do. And um, it was just such an encouragement because for a couple of weeks we were, you know, we didn't know, we, did, we really didn't know where we needed to go or who we could connect with to put us in contact with someone that could rent a space out for us. And so, um, so we had a preview service, we had Josiah, you know, we were still trying to formulate as a team for our, uh, for our core team for Heart Change Fellowship. At this time, uh, Chris Reese had joined the mix. Um, in addition to Chris Reese, we had um, Mike and Gina Duncan. Uh, they came to Heart Change. Met them in the airport. Uh, we met them on a flight coming back from Tennessee. Um, mm -hmm. We had a layover, I think, in Raleigh, mm -hmm. and uh, met them. And they started coming to Heart Change. And then uh, we had a, another uh, young man, Steve Norberg, who was at Harvard. And um, he was working with the Athletes in Action. He was a recent grad of Harvard. And so he came out. And then um, we also had um, the Steels, um, uh, Justin and Sally Steele. And they, uh, Justin was at Harvard getting his MBA. And Sally was at Gordon Conwell getting her uh, MDiv. And so we had this, this hodgepodge group of people who had just met each other along with Heather and Vicky still. <laughs> and uh, we just said, Lord, all right, let's, let's just trust you to see what you're going to do. And, and, uh, and so September, the second weekend of September, I think it was September 14th of 2007, uh, Heart Change Fellowship was launched. And um, it was an amazing time. God really uh, blessed us to be able to begin and you know and in the process of beginning um, really allowed us to just meet some awesome people and uh, just continue to to uh, just start the the, the the building process for our church um, you know as I shared earlier as God gave us the in initial vision for heart change fellowship you know one of the aspects that we knew coming into this is that people leave and really understanding that people are coming here for a short season and they're going to other places that God sends them. And so in so many ways, we see ourselves as a, a launching pad mm -hmm. to be able to send people um, around the world. And so our vision, equipping people to develop a passionate heartbeat for Jesus Christ in order to impact the local and global community. Woo, woo, woo. Amen. And so that's who we are. That's who God has called us to be as a body. 
and it's been a blessing for us even in these five years to be able to know that God has walked with us and led us every step of the way. From there, we spent a year and a half at, um, at St. Catharines there in Lower Roxbury. And then in the spring of 2009, we moved to Orchard Gardens, which is about five blocks away from there, and spent um, three, close to three years there, two and a half years there. And then finally, we are here at Covenant Congregational Church, and we've been here since January of 2012. And as we've been able to have this journey, it's been so cool seeing so many different types of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen people go to uh, Africa, um, um, Central America, um, and really all over the world from from our heart from from Heart Change Fellowship. Mm -hmm. And although it's a blessing to send people. It's also challenging because you see people that you really love and care about leave and be a blessing for someone else's church and be a blessing for other other individuals. But you know, we realize that as long as God is using them elsewhere, um, that's what that's what really excites us. And so our our core values are passionate worship, undeniable truth, living authentically, strategic service, and engaged evangelism as really the cornerstones of who we are as a church. And so as a body, being able to see those core values live out and the, 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 the way in which we express our lives as the body of Christ. Um, heart Change Fellowship, if we look at our church in one word, you know, we would really see our church as being a place where, um, where we are equipping people to really make kingdom impact. And that's who we are, and that's who we've, we've um, that's been our passion as a, as a ministry for the five years of our existence.